Hi, I'm Gary Gilmore, and for years I've been working with charcoal gasification and running internal combustion engines, and I kind of had a challenge to see how simple of a gasifier can I make that would run small internal combustion engines, say 3 to 16 horsepower. And this is kind of what I've come up with. I'd like to show it to you. Uh, it's very simple to operate. Uh, it uses charcoal, which is very simple to make. Uh, and all it is is a, a basically a steel container. Uh, it has an air inlet. And inside, the air inlet is a air nozzle. And this directs the air into the center of the charcoal fire. It has a stainless steel uh, shield on it because it helps prevent the oxidation of the steel. Because the temperatures in there get very, very hot. Now the fuel I'm using is charcoal. I make it right here on the property. Matter of fact, behind me is uh, some hybrid poplars, a tree I planted about 20 years ago, and it uh, finally died and I cut it up for firewood. Uh, the reactor is just filled with this charcoal. You notice the size, the largest pieces are three quarters of an inch in diameter. The smaller pieces are around an eighth inch. Now one of the drawbacks of charcoal is the dust, as you see, but we don't live in a perfect world and that's you know, just something I kind of live with. Uh, the lid of this uh, simple fire is just a, a lid. It has a gasket. It has to be airtight. just fits on like that. Now this is a small engine I'll be running, so I don't have to worry about the charcoal being sucked into the engine or into the uh, gas filter. But if I had a larger engine, I would be laying down a screen, small screen, on top of the charcoal, and that would prevent that from happening. Uh, the, the charcoal gas then comes out this piece of hose. It's nothing more than a piece of sump pump hose, which goes to the filter. Now the filter is very simple. It's just a tin can with an airtight lid. Uh, has a filter in it, and I use open cell foam rubber, and it works very well for me. Fits in there. The lid goes on, and then this gets attached to the sump pump hose. Then from the filter, the gas goes to the engine carburetor. The carburetor has to be adapted a little bit. Not the carburetor itself, but the air inlet, the, uh, where the air filter bolts on, has to be adapted. And it's very simple, a T with a valve to allow air in and allow the charcoal gas to enter in. And then you adjust this to get the correct stoichiometric mixture of charcoal gas and air to make a combustible mixture that will run the engine. One other component of this gasifier is the engine exhaust return. You see I have the exhaust adapted with a, uh, a valve and the regular exhaust man or muffler. But what I want to do is take a little bit of the exhaust from the engine, run it back into the reactor to cool down this very, very hot reaction. And this is done simply by putting a, this piece of flexible metal pipe onto the reactor and onto the exhaust. Now, this unit does not have a startup fan. So what I do is I use the engine suction to start the fan. And to do that, I put a little bit of gasoline in there. It takes a few pulls and I'll have the engine running on gasoline. And then I'll use the torch to light the charcoal in the reactor while the engine is sucking gas. It's kind of a little bit of a dance here, but once you understand your idiosyncrasies of the engine, it's not that hard. should be lit now. Yep. Put a little more gasoline in there to get the combustion going again. Get the engine running.
Okay, now we're running on wood gas. Now I'm going to open the exhaust return valve and give a little bit of carbon dioxide back into the engine. That will cool down the reaction. There's the right stoichiometric mixture. And now we're ready to start splitting wood. For more information on this, May I suggest you go to driveonwood.com and go to the forum and look for Simple Fire, where we'll have some more discussion about this unit and uh, the experimental nature of it.